Coach, congratulations on your run through March so far. We'll ask you to open things up with an opening statement. Then we'll begin with some questions. Well, I know we're really excited to still be in the bubble and uh, our players are excited because it's a quick turnaround, which means we don't have to uh, have many practice days. And right now they much rather play games than uh, uh, practice. So uh, everybody's excited and uh, uh, getting uh, geared up to play a very good uh, uh, Arkansas team. Thank you, Coach Drew. We'll now take some questions. First, John Werner from the Waco Tribune. Uh, yeah, John Werner, Waco Tribune Herald. Scott, uh, what impresses you about Arkansas? It looks like they have pretty good balance all the way around. Well, first, first is a team that plays uh, extremely hard. Uh, very athletic. Um, uh, Muss has done a great job with them. Uh, 12 and one in their last 13 games. So basically the hottest team in the country behind besides Gonzaga. So uh, uh, you're playing a team that uh, has a lot of momentum, a lot of confidence, and uh, um, they really, they really uh, um, get after you. Doesn't matter if you're up, you're down. Um, they're never out of it uh, uh, with their athleticism and uh, uh, toughness. Coach, we're going to move to a question for Kendall from the daily bears. Hey, Scott, Arkansas is kind of unusual where they have a very good defense, but the defensive possessions end very quickly. How do they manage that unique balance? Hey, Kendall, Kendall you, you, may, could you, repeat you may need question? to repeat that, Kendall. Yeah. yeah, are you all able to hear me now, Scott? Yes. Excellent. Uh, Arkansas is very good defensively, but their defensive possessions tend to end very quickly. How do they manage that unique balance? Well, they, they put a lot of pressure on you, so uh, – um, you're going to, you're going to speed up. And uh, uh, a lot of times that puts you in trouble and in harm's way. And they do a great job taking charges. And uh, uh, sometimes uh, you getting a, a quick two leads to you taking two or other two or three other quick shots or turning it over. And uh, that plays right into what they're, what they're really good at. Cause in transition they're uh, they're elite and uh, um, they do a tremendous job uh, taking advantages uh, advantage of uh, turnovers and, and long rebounds. Chuck Carlton is going to be up next from the Dallas Morning News. Chuck, you can unmute yourself and state your question. Yeah, Scott, not to get too far ahead of ourselves here, but both you and the women's program are playing a thousand miles apart and about three hours apart with both with a chance to go to the, uh, the four having made the elite eight. That would be, that's somewhat rare and a pretty neat accomplishment. Again, not to get too far ahead of ourselves, but what would that mean, not, not only for the two programs, but for Baylor and just the fact that both programs have gotten this far? Well, I think uh, it says a lot about uh, Mac Rhodes, or AD, and our athletic administration, and uh, President Livingstone, and the support they give uh, our programs. And then uh, also, uh, um, uh, our programs uh, are really close. Uh, and we got 17 sports. I believe 14 were ranked in the top 25. Everybody kind of feeds off of each other, encourages one another, supports one another. And then uh, when you see other programs being successful, it makes you want to be more successful. And uh, with the parity in, in, in college basketball to have two programs, both in the Elite Eight, uh, that doesn't have happen often. And uh, uh, it's just a, a great accomplishment again. And uh, hats off to our administration for allowing us to be successful. Coach, next, let's hear from Steve McGargy of the Associated Press. Steve. Yes, congratulations. I was just wondering, obviously, at this point, y'all are probably all caught up in preparation for this game, but y'all have been there in the hotel for so long. I was just wondering if there were any creative ways that you, the staff, or any players had come up with just in terms of breaking up the monotony to try to keep yourself occupied other than the obvious, like video games, scouting, Netflix, they like. Well, uh, Steve, we, we, we've actually, uh, um, I can tell you, uh, coaches have really enjoyed this time because normally we don't get this kind of quality time with our players. And uh, 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 we've had some fierce Connect Four games, uh, <laughs> Uno games, uh, and, and other things. So um, we, we've enjoyed being with our guys and uh, getting a chance to uh, know them better. And uh, again, uh, I, I, I can I can tell you that uh, no team wants to leave the bubble. Um, so uh, it, it's an exciting time. Uh, to, obviously, when games are going on, everybody's locked in watching other games. Um, but when you see teams leave the hotel and, and the bubble, it, it just reinforces uh, how fortunate you are to still be here and still be playing. Um, so, again, this this will be one season that I'll always remember just because you've never had this type of um, – 
opportunity to spend this kind of quality time with your guys. And I think we've all grown a lot closer because of it. Next question will be from Bob Holt of the Arkansas Democrat. Um, hey, Coach, how you doing? So who are you cheering for, Bob? <laughs> I'm cheering for a fast game with a 9 o'clock football. I'll tell you what, I'd, if you guys could move the game earlier, I'd really appreciate it. Hey, um, I'd second that, just so you know, Bob. <laughs> when, okay. you, when you got little kids that go to school and you get used to getting up early, it's hard staying up late now. <laughs> um, and no overtime. Um, <laughs> you guys have been turning people over pretty well all year. I know you're in, right there at the top. Uh, but, but in these NCAA tournament games, you guys have been crushing uh, everybody in points off turnovers. What, what's been the key to that? And how big a part uh, is that for your game? And, you know, how do you think that play, could play into this game? Well, I think uh, um, uh, our defense has been uh, uh, really good until we hit that pause. And then when we hit the pause, it, it, it diminished. And then I think we're starting to get it back to where it was. And with that, our, our defense is, is a reason for our success this year because um, there's been nights like like last night where you're three for 19 from three and you still win a game, and that's because of your defense. So uh, Arkansas does a tremendous job in forcing uh, turnovers and, and getting easies on the other end because of that too. And uh, I know both coaches will preach the same thing, don't turn it over. And when you do, get back. So uh, uh, um, whichever team gets more easy buckets obviously uh, has a better chance of winning next up we'll have curtis quillen from kcn in waco hey scott curtis quillen channel six in waco what's the biggest key for you guys when you look at yourself going into tomorrow well i think uh, um bob kind of touched on it with the uh, uh points off turnovers uh, um both teams uh are, are really good in in transition and both teams uh, uh very have very good defenders very athletic and pressure and and uh pressure burst pipes so uh both teams got to take care of the ball um i know coaches will preach that and whichever team does that will will definitely have an advantage we'll go to a question now from jack allen kxxv in central texas yeah, Scott, uh, Jack with ABC 25 in Waco. I was just wondering, uh, being in the bubble, life in the bubble, how has the anticipation for these games compared to uh, years in the past when you've had travel in between the you know, Sweet 16, all of that, D does it feel different from that standpoint just because y'all are all together all the time hanging out in hotels? Yeah, I think the second game is is a lot more normal um, with the quick turnaround. Uh, but that first game where you're you're given five six days uh, leading up to it, I know uh, it, you can feel it in the hotel. Um, the first three, four, uh, days are all fun, loving, joking. The hotel's a lot louder. And then, uh, when it gets close to game day within 24 hours, all of a sudden everything becomes, uh, uh, a lot more, uh, intense, quiet, focused, ready. Uh, you can tell something's about to go down. Matt Roberts has a question as well. Matt, please state your media outlet. Hey, Coach, Matt Roberts, Fox 44 Sports. Uh, you guys obviously going on, on especially on a one-day scout against a team like Arkansas. Does it help when they play teams like Oral Roberts in North Texas and Tech and Oklahoma State, guys that y'all are more familiar with when you're looking at tape, kind of knowing what the measuring stick is like? Well, I think uh, it's difficult for, for both teams whenever you have a quick – quick scout because there's not a lot you can change or put in and uh, you try not to uh, have your guys thinking too much. Um, so uh, both teams are kind of in that same situation as far as uh, it always is uh, uh, more helpful when you play uh, um, a team that you can see, Hey, this is our defense is kind of similar and see how, they attacked it, what they did, what was successful, and then you can learn from that. Um, so definitely uh, um, playing some of those teams will be helpful for us, but it's also helpful for them because they're used to it. Jerry Hill is up next. Jerry, please state your media outlet. Jerry Hill, Baylor Bear Insider. Uh, Scott, when you look at that first half, and Davion talked about it, that, that they were kind of bailing – um, the other team out that they were taking contested threes. How do you balance, hey, just let shooters shoot and maybe trying to change stuff up when, when it's going like that? Well, I think, uh, uh, first of all, we have an intelligent group and they want to win. So uh, uh, they, 
they see what's going on and, and they want to adapt to what helps us be most successful. Uh, I think at the same time, uh, when you're, when you're, when you're a great shooter, uh, normally every time you shoot it, you think it's going in. And if you don't, you're probably not a good shooter. So you want your guys having confidence. You want them, uh, um, taking good shots. Um, but at the same time, I think uh, this is that time of year where, uh, uh you really got to pick and choose and make sure, um, you're getting your best shot, not just a shot. Andrew Miner is from 24 seven sports. Andrew, your question. Yeah. I wanted to build off Jerry's question with, um, you know, the adjustment you made at halftime against Villanova, where you, you know, started going more inside out to use the two to maybe open up the three. Um, and if you thought that against Arkansas, that, uh, that opportunity was also there to, to get to the rim with the aggressive defense that the hogs play. Well, definitely all coaches would rather have layups <laughs> than contested jumpers. Um, and at the same time, that's why defenses try to make uh, easy buckets hard to get. Uh, it, it, with with uh, both of our teams wouldn't be around right now if we if we were bad defensively. So there's method to the madness for what both of us do. Uh, again, I think uh, as a coach, you 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 can if the quality of shot is good and the person taking is who you want, you feel good with it, make or miss. Um, if, if you can get a better shot, uh, then you love the patience and discipline to be able to turn down a, a good shot to get a great shot. And, and again, I think uh, uh, our players um, and good defenses uh, want you to take uh, 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 tougher shots rather than easier shots. And um, so uh, you need that mature maturity and you need uh, um, to make sure that uh, you have a group that uh, uh, can can listen and then adapt uh, when, when need be. And again, we, we we've been the leading three point shooting team in the country for a reason. Normally we take pretty good shots and uh, we have really good shooters. Uh, at the, at the end of the day though, the best shooters in, in the world still have off nights and I uh, credit Villanova's defense for causing some of that. Thank you. Let's go back to Bob Holt from the Arkansas Democrat. Did you get that game time change, Bob? Is it earlier? Uh, I'm working on it. <laughs> um, they would call Bill Clinton or something. Um, <laughs> hey, on um, you, you got veteran guards. Arkansas's, you know, Jalen Tate's a fifth year guy, but they're playing two freshmen, Moses Moody and, and Devontae Davis. How, how big is it to have experienced guards in games like this? And just kind of what do you think about Arkansas, you know, your guards and Arkansas's guards? Well, I think uh, um, first and foremost, everybody's played enough games now where there are no freshmen anymore. And I think uh, uh, early in the season, that definitely matters more. Uh, later in the season, uh, again, uh, credit uh, Coach Musselman getting his guys a lot of minutes and opportunities to where uh, now they have uh, uh, experience and thus uh, been 12 and one in their last 13 games. Um, with, with our guys, I know uh, we believe in them, we trust them, uh, we love them. And uh, 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 Coaches always tell you you rather have a uh, uh, an older guard than a younger guard, but at the end of the day, um, uh, both of our teams have great guards, and if we didn't, uh, we wouldn't be still playing. We have time for two more questions. First, we'll go to Curtis Quillen from KCEN in Waco once again. Scott, you've coached in this round a couple times before. I know it's been a while, but there's, is there anything that you can take from that, those couple of experiences on this deep of a tournament run to apply and getting ready for tomorrow night's game? Yeah, you definitely, uh, everything in life, you take your past experiences, positive, negative, and try to uh, learn from them, be better from them. In both our situations, uh, we lost to Duke, which won it all, Kentucky, which won it all, and uh, both were outstanding teams. And in both games, I thought uh, uh, they beat us. I didn't feel like we came in and um, uh, we we gave them the game or whatnot. We, we felt like they earned it. So uh, as a coach, the biggest thing we'll want to do is control what we can control with our guys and make sure we're putting our best foot forward. And the final question for Coach Drew, let's go back to John Werner of the Waco Tribune Herald. Scott, you mentioned uh, Moses Moody or Bob did. Um, uh, leading the team in scoring, uh, what do you see from him? A lot of buckets. 
<laughs> so uh, he's an outstanding player. Anytime uh, uh, you're third in the SEC in scoring, anytime you're projected a first round draft pick, obviously you got a lot of talent and ability. And um, uh, uh, Coach uh, uh, Musselman's done a great job putting him in positions to be successful. And and he's a really talented uh, uh, player who can hurt you in a variety of ways. Thank you, Coach. We'd like to show our appreciation for you spending time with us this afternoon. Good luck tomorrow against Arkansas. We're going to hear in just a moment.